its own uh, astral projection. Uh, astral projection, also known as bilocation. Uh, the old parapsychologists used to call astral projection traveling clairvoyance, um, which has got kind of a cool ring to it. It could be a name of a book or something, traveling clairvoyance. But anyway, the, the, my concern is that I meet a lot of people who've been into astral projection and they talk to me and I've seen these marks myself. Um, and that they'll have scratches on their backs when they've come back into the body. Next day they'll realize they've got scratches on maybe on their backs. They may have burns on their knuckles, on the back of the hand. They wake up and it's been burnt. Um, they may have a, a, a triangle um, appear maybe on their chest, maybe an X on their arm. Or little wavy sim symbols, symbolic of water, um, appearing on their body. Um, one guy I, I read of, he reckons he woke up and he had actual pentagrams um, scratched onto his eyelids um, and, and other satanic symbols used in the occult. But so the person comes back into their body, they've been in the spirit realm, supposedly, and they've got all these scratches and what have you on their bodies, X's. Um, someone contacted me last night and they got an M and an E um, scratched into them. And they don't know how that happened, but they were out flying somewhere. And astral projection, bilocation, traveling clairvoyance, it's all to do with leaving your body and going to another place, going to another realm, uh, another spiritual location. Some people say it's it's uh, all happening in your head. Um, the spirit takes you on this journey, but it's all in your mind. Others say you actually do leave your body. As Christians, we know we're supposed to stay in our body. So it's a bit worrying that so many Christians are getting involved in astral projection when God has created you to stay within your body. <laughs> I mean, at death, our, our soul is supposed to leave a, a, and go to heaven. Or if we're not a Christian, then we believe that the soul goes to a place of waiting to wait for that great judgment day. But anyway, coming back to all these scratches and different symbols appearing on the body, we... Okay, maybe you want to stop that. And the other thing that can happen is you come back, poof, you poof, you're back in your body, and at the bottom maybe of the bed is some tall, dark figure, so, some demonic kind of person, and doesn't say anything, but just follows you around. How many people have done astral projection and they feel they're being watched, and they feel that they're being followed? What's, what's happening is, I think, is somehow in the psyche, in the soul, it's been opened up to the spirit realm. And there's these connections have been made with different entities, different spirits uh, and demons. And somehow part of your psyche is connected to that spirit. And as a Bible-believing Christian, as a Baptist minister, I believe that it is only the Lord Jesus Christ who can completely set you free from a spirit that is watching you or following you um, through your astral projection encounters. The Bible says in Psalm 23 that God restores our soul. In, in the Bible, we see God, in Timothy, God gives us a sound mind. We don't have to live under fear. We can be set free from the fear of the experiences and different demonic entities we've met in, on the astral plane. God wants us to stay in our body. So if we're coming under the influence of some spirit, we must say, Lord Heavenly Father, forgive me for this sin that I've committed. You want me to stay in my body. In the name of Jesus, I repent of that. I ask for the blood of Christ to cleanse me. I ask for Jesus to come into my life. And I rebuke and renounce all spirits connected 
with astral travel in the name of Jesus. I take authority over you and I command you to leave me now in the name of Jesus. I am bought with the blood of Jesus Christ. Those spirits, they leave. You've closed the doorway to the spirit realm. The blood of Christ spiritually has washed over your soul and made you whole, made you complete. Satan and his demons, those entities, whether they look reptilian or ethereal, have no right into your life because you belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. So you ask Christ into your life. You renounce astral projection. You repent of it. You rebuke the spirits connected with it. And then you begin to pray and you begin to read a little bit of the Bible each day. Join a local Christian church that believes the Bible and loves the Lord Jesus Christ. A church that is moving in the Holy Spirit that love has the balance between the Word of God and the Spirit of God. So many churches today, some are so dry because of the Word of God. Others are so hyper and do lally because of the Spirit. And neither of those are right. There needs to be a balance in our churches between Word and Spirit so that we can grow in the Christian faith. And as we grow in the Christian faith, we'll become freer and freer and freer. Believe me, the Lord Jesus Christ has the power to set you free and to restore your soul from the fear that astral projection can cause.